call this an early warning system. In Jordan this afternoon, they were girdling this ash tree, one of 20, that will now become sentinels against the emerald ash borer. By girdling the tree, by taking off a portion of the bark, it puts the tree under stress, and that stress sends out a signal that is attractive to the beetle. And so the beetles that are in this area hopefully will come to this tree that's sending out the stressors. Here in Onondaga County, they're also checking how many trees could become public hazards if they die and fall. We're up to 26,000 so far. We've done all of our county parks. Um, we've also done the 911 towers that we own. And we, last summer, started doing the county right-of-ways and we've done the town of Salina, the town of Geddes, Onondaga, DeWitt, Cicero, and Clay. In Syracuse, they're also taking down some at-risk trees, 350 so far this year. This is along Euclid Avenue, and they're replacing them with non-ash trees. The emerald ash borer invaded from China, so we're also importing its natural predators. This summer, they'll be checking that they don't create a hazard here, too. Consider it nature fighting nature. This is a little tiny wasp, and this actually lays its own egg inside an emerald ash borer egg and kills the larvae developing within. But the best defense right now is stopping the ash borer from getting here. It's associated with firewood. And so if people have gone camping within some of those campgrounds from an infested county, Cattaraugus County, Monroe County, Ulster County, they may have brought in infested ash wood. One of the concerns is that the public doesn't understand what is happening with this emerald ash borer invasion. So as the 20 trees are being girdled, they're also tagging them with some information. And if you want to know more, there's also a phone number on the back that you can call. In Jordan, I'm Laura Hand reporting.